Welcome back everybody, and today I have behind me a few downwards double piston extender designs to show you today, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this first design has been the design I've been using for a while, I don't remember who came up with it, uh, but it is quite useful, so if I go ahead and hit this button here, as you can see, double piston extender. Now this design has the downside of not being able to be single ticked, as you can see. That final retraction just does not happen. But with the new 1.16 redstone mechanics, we can save us a little bit of space, mainly just this block here, because first now we can have redstone on top of a piston. So if I go ahead and press that there, as you can see, we can have redstone on that piston, uh, but this still has the same downside of not being able to be single ticked. As you can see. Next up, we have this design here, which is able to be single ticked. So, just a single tick pulse twice. We'll do the full extension, as well as do the full retraction when it is repeated. And of course, you can, with all of these, if I were just to replace this observer with a button, everything would function like normal. And let's go ahead and do that on this design here. And of course this is a quite neat 3x3. Three three. And of course if you want to do single block extensions you can have some sort of power source going to this note block as well and that will translate all the way through. Finally we have the shortest design of them all being too tall. Now this one does not work with single tick pulses. As you can see, we don't get that full retraction, but it does work with regular button presses. So if I go ahead and press it here, there we go. And press it again, there we go. And that is all four designs here. Of course, it's really three, just one is the old design of this one. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I just remembered I'm a villager. Bye.